Coach, they call it March Madness. You won a tight game tonight, 48-44, to and I know it was maddening at time, but still your team found a way to win. Uh, survive in advance, is that the word that uh, they use? That's about what it was, survive in advance. Very fortunate to win. We did not play well on the offensive end, and, and, and really uh, I didn't think we handled adversity in the game very well. Our body language got a little poor when our shots weren't falling. Our body language got a little poor when we thought the referee should have called a foul. It got a little poor when we didn't get some stops or they got some offensive rebounds, you know. So I just didn't think we handled the whole moment of the game, the pressure of trying to get this first round by late, late in the season, home game. We got some parents here and, you know, that kind of thing. And we're very fortunate to win. But I'd rather have a teaching lesson here, here late in the season where the win, regardless of how it looked, uh, than, than having lost and having to go through this. So we're, we still got a chance. At times tonight, Travis Munnings was your offense. He finished with 21 points in the game. Yeah, Travis uh, was trying very, very hard out there. And, uh, you know, at times, maybe a little too much. And, and that was really kind of indicative, indicative of a lot of players on our team, uh, trying to do something uh, – uh, too much and, and not letting things come to him a little bit. And uh, so hopefully, you know, it, it almost felt like a first round tournament game in, in, in the conference tournament where there's a lot of nerves and and uh, uh, you, these kind of things happen. And, and then usually you're better the second game. So I'm hoping that's what happened here tonight and we'll be better on Saturday. As you look at the ending of the ball game, Ertl hit a big shot, even though he struggled offensively. Marvin Jean Pierre only made one field goal, but it was a huge three out of the corner. And somebody who kind of gave you a lift, and you wouldn't see it unless you looked in the stat uh, at the stat page, is Brandon Newman got six points for you in seven minutes. Yeah, I should have played probably Brandon a little more in the second half. He did a good job in the first half, and I should have got him in there a little bit uh, uh, because he, he did play pretty well. And uh, uh, but maybe we have, we'll get him in there on Saturday a little more. And uh, you know, Brandon uh, hasn't played a whole, whole lot, but he's kind of been in important moments <laughs> when, we, when we're playing him in games. And, and uh, so uh, hopefully I'll get him in there on Saturday a little more. I want to fast forward quickly to Saturday and ask you about the senior class. I know you have a lot of respect for these guys because they've really hung in there through some tough times, and now they're kind of enjoying some of the fruits of their labor here as seniors. Well, they've always tried to do what we've asked them to do, uh, almost to a fault sometimes. That's how good a group it's been, to be honest with you, in particular uh, the seniors. And, uh, you know, I'm happy for them. They've won nine league games so far this year. We're nine and eight going into Saturday's game. We won two last year. Lost a lot of close games. Heartbreaking now. And uh, they've never uh, wavered in their work work ethic. They never wavered in, you know, being a resilient or, or listening to the coaches and trying to get better. And so. You know, I've said this before, but I'm real happy for them that they've been able to taste some success within the within the league, and uh, because they didn't get very much of it last year, and you know now they're in the thick of things, they're in the conversation, and I know it feels good for them. I'm real proud of them. Got to be special too for you've had to uh, the experience of sharing this journey with your son and kind of seeing him go through the process and, and to be a captain as a senior. Well, Lance has been with us for five years. Uh, he's the ultimate uh, teammate. Uh, I, I said this the other day, you, you can't make a better teammate. Uh, God can't make a better teammate than Lance Richard. And uh, he's, seen, he's seen it when it was down. He's seen it when we, when we were really good. He's, he's been through it now that we're rebuilding kind of again. And, and he's seen it all, you know, and never wavered. Uh, being uh, a good teammate and being loyal to the program and ULM and to me. And, and uh, it, it's been a special five years with him.